Welcome to Excel Campus. My name is John, and in this video, I'm going to explain how to automatically update your pivot tables when the source data changes. So here we have a simple pivot table, and on this data sheet over here, we have the source data for the pivot table. And anytime we make a change to the source data range, whether we edit a cell or copy and paste new data below the table, uh, we want our pivot table to automatically update. So in order to do this, we're going to use a simple macro and I'll explain how that works. The first thing you'll wanna do is save your workbook as a macro enabled workbook. You can see I have this workbook here as a .s XLSM extension. Uh, if you're not familiar with that, I have a whole nother video series that explains how to get started with macros in VBA and create macro enabled workbooks. And I'll put a link to that in the description below this video. So we're going to open the VB editor, uh, developer tab, visual basic button, keyboard shortcut is Alt F11. And within the VB editor here on the left side in the project explorer window, you want to find the workbook that you're working in that contains the pivot tables. And then within that, we want to find the sheet object that contains the source data. So here within the Microsoft Excel objects folder, this might be collapsed. You can go ahead and expand it. And then here is our sheet. The data sheet contains that source data. So we're going to double click, double left click on that. And that's going to open the code module for that sheet object. And then here within the code modules where we're going to add our macro. Now we're going to add an event and to do that, we'll first uh, click this drop down here and we're going to choose worksheet. That'll add the worksheet selection change event here or this macro. Uh, we don't actually want that one. So from within this drop down over here, the procedure drop down, we're going to select change, select the change event right there. That will add the worksheet change event right here. And this is the one we want. We'll go ahead and delete the selection change event uh, because we don't need that. We don't want this to get confusing. So the worksheet change event, this macro will run anytime we make a change to this worksheet. And specifically anytime we edit a cell or multiple cells or make changes to cells within that worksheet, this macro will run. So this is where we wanna put the code to refresh our pivot tables. And that can be done with one very simple line of code, which is this workbook, or just reference the workbook, this workbook dot refresh all. The refresh all method is going to refresh all the pivot tables, any queries and connections, data connections that you have in the workbook it will refresh all of those when we run this line of code. It's the same as if you're in Excel and you hit the refresh all button on the data tab of the ribbon. So that's all we really need there. Let's go ahead and test it out. So we'll jump back over to Excel. Again, we're on our data sheet here. And if we just make a change to any one of these cells here, let's just make a change to this cell and we'll make it a really big number so we can definitely see a change in our pivot table and I'll hit enter. And once I hit enter there, that code runs to refresh all the uh, pivot tables in the workbook. If we go over here to our pivot table, we can now see that it's automatically been updated right here. Here's that new value of 2 million that we just added. And I wanna share one little trick uh, with these events. So we'll jump back to the VB editor here. Uh, if you want to make sure the event is firing when we make a change and this macro is running, you can add a breakpoint right here to the beginning or the top line of the macro. Just left click right here in the uh, column over here to the left of the code module, and that will add this breakpoint or this stop point right here to the top. And now when we go back over to uh, the worksheet, the data sheet, and make a change, actually let's go over to this new data sheet here. We'll copy and paste some data below uh, in that source data range. So we'll go over to our data sheet here. We'll go down to the very bottom and we'll just paste uh, some new data right here. I'm gonna hit Control V to paste. And you can see when I did that, I just hit Control V, uh, we get this stop or this break right here in our code. We can see this yellow line is highlighted. This means this code has started running. And now we can either hit F8 on the keyboard to step through each line of code. Now we only have one line of code here, so I can hit F8, that'll highlight this line of code hit F8 again, that will run that line of code, refresh all of the pivot tables in the workbook, and then I'll hit F8 again to stop running that. So that's one way to just stop this and debug this and also make sure that your worksheet change event is firing or it's running when you make a change to the worksheet. If it's not, you might not have the macros enabled in the workbook. So you might need to close the workbook, reopen it and make sure you enable macros uh, and then your worksheet change event should start working when you make any changes to the source data sheet here in the workbook. 
And then another important thing to note here is since we are running a macro to refresh all of the pivot tables, we do lose the undo history when we make this change and the macro runs. That's just a side effect, uh, something that's built into VBA that we don't really have much control over in this case. So it's just good to know that, that uh, we don't have the ability to undo those changes we make in this specific sheet here. Uh, if you wanted to have another kind of workaround to that, one thing you can do is if you go over to the pivot table and just select any cell inside the pivot table, go to the analyze tab here, and then open the pivot table options. There is another option here on the data tab to refresh the data when opening the file. You can check this here and uh, click OK, and that will turn that option on to refresh the data when opening the file. And there, and you get this little warning message here, and just uh, hit OK on that. It just lets you know that anytime the file is opened, the pivot tables will automatically refresh. Now that does not mean that the uh, data will refresh when we make changes to the source data range. So again, if you want to do that, if you have users working in this and you want to just make sure the pivot tables are updated every time they make a change here, then you will need to use that macro code, this macro code here that we just saw. We'll definitely need to use that. Uh, but if you are just sending your files out and you want to make sure those pivot tables are updated, you can use that pivot table option as another alternative. So those are two different ways to go about it. And then one last thing here is if you don't want this code to stop every time you run it, you can just left click this breakpoint again and that will uh, clear that. And now every time we make a change in our source data range, if we go back, let's just go back up to the top here. We'll change this back to 150, hit enter. That code will run, the pivot tables will refresh, and we can go back over to this tab here and see that our numbers have been restored to what they previously were. And then finally, I just wanted to share a few other ways to refresh pivot tables. Uh, we just saw this line of code, which will refresh all the pivot tables. It will also refresh all of the queries if you're using Power Query or refresh all those queries or any data connections as well. If you don't want that, uh, you can just refresh the pivot tables only. And I added some code down here. I'll make this uh, file available for download and put a link in the description below this video. So here's a few different ways to just refresh the pivot tables. We're actually refreshing the uh, pivot cache that's connected to the pivot tables. This, uh, this section of code here will loop through and refresh all the pivot caches in the workbook. Uh, so you could put this code right up here in the worksheet change event instead. You can put that code up there. If you just want to refresh one single pivot table, you can use something like this line of code here, which references the pivot table on a specific sheet, references it by name, or you can reference it by index number, and then refresh its pivot cache. And again, you could add that line of code there to the uh, worksheet change event, this line of code right here. You could just put that uh, up here and you would not need the this workbook dot refresh all. And then I also have another article that explains uh, disabling the background refresh if you are using Power Query, and that will allow your queries to refresh before your pivot tables. So if you're interested in that and you have that set up, uh, check out this article as well. I got a link right here. I'll put a link in the description below the video as well, and that will help you get all of that set up. So I hope that helps you get your pivot tables refreshed when any changes are made to your source data range. Of course, if you have any questions, please leave a comment below. If you enjoyed that video, there are a few simple things you can do to help me out. If you're watching this video on YouTube, click the like button below the video and leave a comment with any questions or feedback. And please don't forget to subscribe to my free email newsletter to get more tips and tricks that will help you learn Excel. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you soon.